Hey everyone, Sheila here from Life for Pets. So today we're going to be doing a collab video with Danny's Aquariums and he is going to be doing a video on feeding all his fish. He's got a lot of different types of fish, he's got several different tanks and so go on over, check his channel out. If you like what you see then go ahead and subscribe. Maybe leave a comment in the comments box of the video that he's doing. I will leave a link to his channel in the description box below. We are going to be doing a video, an update video actually, on our puffer fish. It has been, I think it's about five weeks since we've had them. They are now out of quarantine and we have put them into the 75 gallon. So I'm going to talk about how that's been going. I'm going to talk about what we've been feeding them and just the issues that we're having with them in general. But let's take a look at them. So when we first put them into the tank, my biggest concern obviously was would they get on with the other fish. When they were in quarantine, we actually did add in some of the Harlequin Rasboras with them just to see how they would get along with them. And it all went really great. There were no issues whatsoever. So we knew that they would get on with them. And obviously that was a much smaller tank than this one because the quarantine tank was only a 20 gallon tank. And obviously this one is 75. So there is a lot more room in here. So we've had no issues whatsoever, even with the Corys. A lot of reports with the Amazon with Corys or fish that will sort of just sit on the bottom. They will often nip their fins, but we've had no issue with that at all. And I think it's probably because there's so much going on in the tank, then they've got a lot of other things to explore and take a look at so they don't tend to bother with any of the fish at all which is great another thing that people were saying they had issues with was the puffers would be out competed for food now the fish that we do have in this tank especially the denison barbs they go crazy when you feed and it becomes a real feeding frenzy and that was something I was really concerned about however it has worked out really really well because the puffers are usually the first one to go to the top because the harlequin rasboras and the denison barbs they are more like middle feeders so they wait for the food to sink down and then they will eat it whereas the puffers actually go up to the top for the food and because we're feeding a lot of bloodworms then obviously the cube floats on the top and then as it sort of starts to dissolve the bloodworms drop off and go into the tank so the puffers actually get the majority of the food which is a good thing and then all the leftovers that sort of drop down into the tank the other fish get as well so that has been really good and as time has gone on that hasn't changed sometimes we do feed foods that the puffers will not eat and again that's okay it does it won't hurt them if they don't eat for a day so we do still mix it up and add other foods in obviously for the other fish but we are trying to target feed at the moment just to get the puffers in a really good routine so their main food is bloodworms however they do spend quite a lot of time hunting for snails and for shrimp and obviously that is a good behavior we have had issues with them surfing the glass and this has been the biggest issue that we've had with them the tank is as you can see pretty well planted um, I did join some different forums asking for advice and really the only two things that people came up with that we could maybe improve on was add extra current in the tank because they do like a very strong current and also maybe to get more of them. Well, we have been trying to get more of them, but we just haven't been able to find them. Everywhere is sold out and the place where we got these from, they're not expecting any in anytime soon but I am on the list and if some come in then they are going to contact me straight away but we did add some current to the tank we added quite a strong uh, pump and that was then sort of doing a current right across the tank but it really didn't make any difference whatsoever so they were surfing a lot less than they were in the quarantine tank with the quarantine tank we did heavily plant that as well and we tried to block the ends with plants but it just didn't make any difference so I did start doing a lot of research on the specific issue and it turns out it is a very common problem now this did not come up when I was doing the research for the actual 
for fish but then when you search the specific problem then it comes up a lot and then when you talk about it in the different forums again a lot of people are having the same issues so I think that's really sad that these fish they just seem to become so obsessed with their reflection that's what a lot of people think uh, or it is a stress behavior so people seem to sit in two different camps to what the behavior actually is whereas in most fish if they surf in the glass it usually is a stress related problem so I'm not really sure in this case but we have come up with quite a drastic solution and I'm not really going to go into that on this video but we are going to try it and see if it works out and I will do a full video on it in a few weeks time once we've had Actually gone ahead and done it and to see if it works but I will show you guys whether it works or not because we will be doing a huge makeover in this tank and that makeover will actually be part of the the hopeful solution that we're going to come up with but we still absolutely love these fish but I would say that if anybody is thinking of getting one do a great deal of research and also be aware of this is a very common issue and and it doesn't seem to matter what tank setups people have everybody's fish seem to do it I haven't come across anybody yet who says their fish don't do it and if you do have experience with puffer fish and you have any suggestions for us please leave them in the comments box below because we really do want to do the best by these little guys because they're so cute and they do have huge personality and they do come over and greet us and every time we go near the tank they do actually come over and they start swimming to see us which which is really good but obviously we're wanting to help them with this behavior that they're exhibiting they are a very very active puffer and a lot of people think it is just that because they're so active that this is obviously the way that they portray that however I don't think that really they should be surfing the glass 24 7 now ours aren't quite doing that but they do do it a lot and even if we could just cut it down by half really really pleased with that so if any of you have got any suggestions please go ahead and leave them in the comments box below some of the other foods that we're trying to get them onto are clams on the half shell, brine shrimp and also freeze dry krill. Now Annie, the one on the left there, she will basically eat just about anything whereas the other two are still only eating the snails, shrimp and the blood worms. But hopefully over time they will learn to eat other things and especially now that they're in with the other fish that will basically eat just about anything although none of them will actually eat the clams so that we may end up with a load of those left although the goldfish actually do like clams not on the half shell but I have have it in cube form as well and they do actually like that so they will eat it if necessary all right guys thanks for watching don't forget go on over and check out danny's aquariums i'll leave a link at the end of this video and i will also leave it in the description box below if you're not subscribed to our channel and would like to see more videos like this then please do so and we'll see you next time